here, huh? this is all... Yeah. Hi there, I got something for you guys. Hello. Wanna take a break? Coffee's always good. Philip and Mike. Oh, we could use a break. Much obliged. Nice to see you. What are you working on? In fact, we are very busy. This is an automated logistic train. We just finished the final programming, and it's about to do its loop, and we're about to test an application. So you guys rearrange which way it will be going and to where? Yes, we have determined where it goes and where to stop. This is about an application, the production delivery. Here, for example, on the picture, you can see a production hall, where different things are getting assembled. And it's... Ah, tight. Exactly, it's tight. And in production, we have to work efficiently, which means we want to get a lot of material from where it is stored to the assembly line. And that's why our tugger train is used here, to transport a lot of material at the same time. And it does it automatically. With the cab without a driver. Spooky. <laughs> exactly. We are now looking at an automated tow tractor. Both driving and load handling can either happen automated or manual. In this case, it drives automatically. And at some point when it stops, it is then loaded and unloaded. And this is where Philip's new product comes into play. Oh, what? It's automated too? Yeah, that's what we're testing here today. We recently unveiled a C-Matic, our new platform truck. It's precisely this interaction between the tugger train and the C-Matic that is the great new challenge, which we want to test here under ideal conditions. What are the things that are tricky about this? The positioning or is it technical stuff? There are many challenges, on the one hand, on the hardware side, but also on the software side. And that, of course, the interaction of the two systems must be perfectly coordinated. It all really starts with the customer's load. The load has to be transported somehow. In this case, the load is placed on rolling racks. So that means our products must be able to transport them. And this is where we start to advise the customers in a constructive way. And after that, it comes down to the process. For long distances, you would use the tugger train. And for short distances, where it's tight, where the tugger train can't get in, the new C-Matic is suited perfectly. Can I see that? Sure. I suggest we walk over. Exactly. Let's go to the truck. After all, that's what automation is all about, to support the operators at the production line. The added value itself takes place at the production line, where the assembly takes place. But these processes around it, which have a lot to do with logistics, do not contribute to value creation. You want to take that away from people. Exactly. That's what you want to take from people. And that's why the products and solutions we present here are perfect to do so. Great, then I want to see the solution in action. As you can see, here comes our semantic unit, and it must pass through once to change direction. Now, it's positioning itself correctly to go under the trolley. Now, it lifts up the platform to lift the rolling rack out of the tugger train. Then it drives, depending on the process step, either directly to the production line, or it could also drive to the warehouse, as you can see in the background, where another one of our trucks would take over the storage part. Of course, there are safety sensors everywhere. That means if you stand in front of the P-Matic or in front of this C-Matic, you don't have to worry about the truck running you over. Oh, is that so? Due to the built-in sensor, it stops automatically. Safety has top priority in automation. Mal and Philip, thank you so much for everything you have shown to me and our viewers. I have learned a lot and it was super exciting. This was one of our masterpieces to go. Thank you for the nice distraction. Thanks for the coffee. It was delicious, wasn't it? It was great.